Hey guys, what's up? So I finally decided to film the long-awaited requested video over my custom palette. And I'm not gonna make this too long, so we're gonna go straight into it. And let me, let me see you know, if I could open it. So this is what my custom palette is looking like at the moment. Most of these shadows are from Makeup Geek. Some of them are from Coastal Scents, but for the most part, they're from Makeup Geek. I will have all of the names of each shadow listed down below since I am not going to go over all 45 shadows. This does hold 45 shadows, which is 10 times better than the Z palette. And it's sturdier, which is great. I'm going to start off with this shade over here. Obviously, it's the only one that I hit pan on. This is my favorite transitional shade. It's just overall great for any look. You need a color that's universal that can go with any look, and I feel like it's that one. This one is called peach smoothie and then this one down here well these two are the same these two are beaches and cream which is my second favorite transitional shade honestly they look the same color to me except this one's a little bit darker since i'm really light this one shows up more than the other one which is why i prefer that one in particular um i'm gonna go now to this row my favorite one from this row is probably this one right here and this one is called caramelize this one is from coastal scents this one is like super super pigmented you guys can see right there. They're super buttery and creamy. Do a little little swatch. No, I'm not flicking you guys off. You guys see how gorgeous that is? I got this when it was on sale on Black Friday. It was only 99 cents. I remember I tweeted about it. I was like, hey, babes. I was like, I just found this really good deal. I was like, go get it. Makeup Geek shadows are only $6, so don't get me wrong. They're freaking amazing and affordable, but 99 cents for a single shadow? Like, you gotta be kidding me. I ended up buying 20, and some of them worked for me. Some of them didn't, but... This is one of the ones that I ended up loving, which once again is caramelized. From this row, my favorite one, it has to be Cupcake, also from Makeup Geek. It's just like a overall nude mauve pink I feel like everybody needs in their custom palette. Moving on to this row, I honestly, I use all of these colors on a daily basis. This color right here, I actually deposited from my Manny MUA palette. I know not a lot of people like to do that, but I like to do that. That way I didn't have to like be carrying the palette everywhere. So actually I use this color, this one, and these two, and then this one, and then this one on the eye look that I'm using today. And if you guys want me to film a video on this look, give this video a thumbs up. That way I can know. So this one is called Zora, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, I will put it right here. This one down here is called Frappe, which is also just like, it's just like a muted brown that... It's perfect for a transition if you're doing like a smoky eye. It's just a great brown overall. It's not too dark, not too light. Perfect. And then this one down here is one of my favorites. This one is called Grandstand. It's a foil shadow. It's pink and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This color is just so freaking pretty. Especially when it hits the light. You don't need Fix Plus with the foil shadows from Makeup Geek because they're so pigmented already. And honestly, they work best with a flat brush instead of like using a fluffy one or you can even use your fingertips i find that that also works really really well moving on to this row my favorite one is chickadee i use chickadee in a lot of my videos my next favorite color is this one which is called morocco it's great for summer and fall time it's just like the overall perfect burnt orange that everybody needs in their palette i'm gonna be saying that a lot i'm choosing all my favorite colors that way if you guys decide to start your own custom palette you get the right colors that you can do a lot of looks with and two of my favorite, 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 favorite full shadows from them is Legend, which is the one I have on my lid right now, and Flamethrower. I actually discovered these two from Jaclyn Hill's video, I believe. And these two are just magical. They're so... I can't even swatch it because of my freaking nail. This is what they look like. They're so freaking pretty. So I'm going to swatch this one over here first. There. <laughs> My swatches suck, I'm sorry you guys. But there, you guys can kind of see. They're so pretty. Um, Caramelized by Coastal Scent actually kind of does have the same formula as Makeup Week. Not as best, but they are still super buttery and pigmented. And I am going to say, if you do want to buy some shadows from Coastal Scents, I highly recommend read the reviews first. Because that's how I bought the shades based off of the reviews. Because some of them are like... This one's too sheer, it's too blotchy, it doesn't blend out. Some of them are like, this one's super great. Also, look at the ratings. That's why I bought them. If it has like zero stars, don't buy it. Do not buy it. If it has like four or five stars, then highly recommend you get it. 
Going on to the next row, which is probably my favorite row because I love burgundy shades, especially for the fall time. I love doing fall looks. I still use these colors like around Valentine's, summertime. Honestly, I use them all throughout the year. So this one up here is called Bitten, which is just like a dark wine color. I'm going to swatch it so y'all can see what that one looks like. So this is what that one looks like. So it's like a really deep red, almost has like, this one has brown undertones, I guess you could say. This one over here is called Americano which is my second favorite burgundy shade, I guess you could say. And then this one down here is called Mars, which is from the Manny and UA palette. I also departed them. Mars has more red undertones. Bitten has brown undertones. And then this one over here, which is um, Americano, has more like purplish, reddish undertones. They're all great colors for the fall time. They're all perfect burgundy colors. However, although Mars looks super, super gorgeous, if you're super light skin and you put it on your eyelids it's gonna come off as pink i don't know if i'm the only one you guys can definitely let me know in the comments down below because every time i put mars on and it looks good but then i start blending it out and it turns pink but then i always end up going with either bitten or americano under that and then it gives me the color that i want these two full shadows are also one of my favorites this one over here is called showtime yes if i'm not mistaken and then this one is called curtain call this one is literally just like a burgundy shade but just a shimmery is what they both look like they're super super gorgeous gonna swatch this one over here oh wow wow i'm all over the place i'm gonna swatch this one right over here Ooh, my swatches suck you guys oh my god i'm so sorry but like i said all makeup geek foils shadows are super creamy and pigmented so if you've been looking for some really really good full shadows without having to buy a whole palette just to get that one shadow that you want, then I recommend you guys get full shadows from Makeup Geek. They have the best consistency out there in my opinion. Going on to the seventh row over here, which we have like the dark mauve purple brown colors. So mo I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really use these two colors up here, but I feel like I needed some purples just in case I do like a purple smoky eye, something like that. But these three colors on the other hand, I use them all the time. I use them on this look right here. So this one right here is Aphrodite, also from the Manny and UA palette. And if you did not get the chance to get that palette, there's always dupes for those colors. This one over here is called Fudge. This one is from Anastasia. I think this is the only color I have from Anastasia in this palette, just because I love how rich the brown color is. This one down here is Cocoa Bear, also from Makeup Geek. All perfect, great brown shades. Super pigmented, amazing. Going to the second last row. Here I have all my green tones. Moving on to the next row, here I have all my greens. And honestly, I never do looks with greens. I think I've only done like one look here on my channel with green. Um, but overall, I love all the green shades. Perfect for like a brown smoky eye and just like a hint of green. I think that would be beautiful. I think that's the look I did. Yeah, I think it was like the emerald smoky eye. You guys should check it out. Anyway, so my favorite greens are these two and these two. So basically, this is like the shimmer shade of this one. This is the shimmer version of this one. So this one's Dirty Martini. This one is Enchanted Forest. Stop, that's gonna come out of my video. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know why I swivel them because honestly, just tapping them, you still get a lot of payoff. You guys see that? Just watching this one right here. There you guys can see. Super, super pretty. Take a shot every time I say pretty. <laughs> Buttery and pigmented in this video. If you if you have been looking for some green shades, then I definitely recommend this one over here and this one. This one's called Epic, and I have no idea what this one is called. You guys, I struggle with my nails. Oh wait, actually, I'm mistaken. Oh, that's right. This one is Gesture, Dirty Martini, Enchanted Forest, and Epic. I had these two switched up. So, it's funny how I know these kind of by memory, some of them. The ones that I don't mostly use and I don't know. That car was so Moving on to the last row. These two right here are my favorite colors. If you did not know, Tiffany Blue is my favorite color, which is this one over here. This one's the most similar one. This one up here is called Teal Green. This is from Coastal Scents, and I'm not going to lie, it's not the best shade. I just bought it because it was my favorite color, but then when I actually like got a hold of it, it was not the best because I just, the reviews weren't, it was, it had, this shadow had mixed reviews, so I was like, I felt like I'm going to give it a try. You never know, but then like, I swatched it. Let me try to get in there. I swatched it and it's just, it's very sheer and when you rub it, it feels kind of hard like sandpaper. It's really weird. However, 
Dragonfly, on the other hand, from Makeup Geek, is super, super pigmented and pretty. Do you guys see the difference? This one is super sheer. You can kind of see like my fingerprints. This one is just like covering the whole thing. So I'm gonna do a swatch so you guys can see what I mean by like some of the Coastal Scent shadows are not as great as they may seem. I don't even have any more space to swatch. But we're gonna try it right here. So this is Dragonfly. You can tell it's still like super pretty. And then this one is teal green. You, you guys see that? See how poorly it's swatched? Even for me going like this, it doesn't want to blend. But if I keep going to Dragonfly, this one blends out super, super easily. So that's what I mean. Check out the reviews before you buy it. Next color is Peacock. This is just a straight up navy blue. Don't really use it unless I'm like going for a smoky eye, but I don't want to use black. Then I use this one instead. And on to Houdini over here. This is also one of my favorites. It's just like a straight up navy blue shade, but it's super, super pretty. Let me see. <gasps> Daisy, you are running out of space, girl. Get it together. Swatch it right here. Woo! Oh, that came out so ugly. There we go. <laughs> My hand is a mess. I'm gonna go all like, play like this. But as you guys can tell, like I said, it just it's just a straight up navy blue and it's super gorgeous also. Last but not least, everybody needs a black matte shade in their custom palette. This one is just from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Corrupt, if I'm not mistaken. And that pretty much sums up all of my favorite shades from my custom palette. I do have other custom palettes, but this video would be like 20 minutes long if I go over. I have, I think, in total like seven custom palettes, but this is like my main one that has all of like my holy grails. The reason why I like having a custom palette instead is because it's better than grabbing like 10 palettes to look for all the colors that you need because that's what I used to do. I would grab like five palettes and I would use like the specific colors I need from each palette. Now I don't have to do that because all the colors I need are in my custom palette. I use that one when I travel, but when I want to use like just specific shades, then I obviously put them in like a smaller custom palette. I try to use different palettes just so I can try them out but at the end of the day I use with what works best and Makeup Geek shadows are honestly the best single shadows out there hands down. I'm pretty sure everybody could agree all of my friends use them also. I don't have a discount code with them but I will find one for you guys that way you guys can save some money and like I said all the shades will be listed down below. Before I let you guys go I am giving away one free custom Makeup Forever palette so if you want to enter all you have to do is comment down below which one was your favorite shade and I will pick a random winner off of that and that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys stay tuned for many more videos to come and I will see you guys later. Bye!